What's up everybody, my name is Black Dragon Rider and today I'm going to do the review of the Universal Bike Holder. So let's get this video started shall we? The biggest question that some of you are going to be asking right now is why should you buy this and not this? If you guys have watched my videos, my old videos of this, as I'm showing you right here, you will know the reason why that I prefer the Universal Bike Holder instead of the X-Wing phone holder. Very scary, isn't it? To see your phone pop out at you like it's saying how much he loves you or she loves you. And you're just like, not now. I am riding my motorcycle. And you're going to get me in trouble. You really don't want that. <laughs> Seriously. So why buy this? Well, the best thing about this, about this phone holder, is because it holds at the edge of your phone instead at the side of your phone. Depends what phone that you got. But this phone holder right here is perfect compared to this. If you guys have not watched my other video on how this works, I may as well just show you in this video. Let's start off of extending the arms. It's really easy. So all you gotta do is pull this lever here, you, or push it up, and you just scroll the dial up and down. Depends how big your phone is. As you guys can see, this is how big it is and how much it can stretch. I can fit my phone in here and I'll do it right now. And there you go. And it's not going anywhere. That's why I prefer this phone holder because it's holding the edge of your phone instead of the side of the phone. So you know when you're going on the bumps, it's not going anywhere whatsoever. So it's staying where it is. To get your phone out, really easy all you gotta do is just pop it off and Bob's your uncle and if you want to move it around there's a dial here twist it and it'll just become loose and obviously you don't want it loose and you can also tighten it on if you're a person who's on a push bike, this can be ideal for you. Putting this phone holder on your motorcycle or push bike, or cell phone holder if you want to call it if you're from America, it's just pretty easy. Undo this, make sure you've got the rubber grip, put it anywhere on your handlebars, tighten it up, done. I was also trying to think of what else am I missing? Do you know that you can actually dismantle this? Yes, you can. You can actually dismantle the phone holder. The reason why I'm mentioning this, I had one problem with this phone holder. It's not a big deal. It's just one of the arms was shorter than the other one. So what do you mean? So I, when I wind this down, One of the arms was still extended and the other ones are in in its place when it's winding down. So I decided to dismantle it. So how do you do that? There are two screws here located. You undo the screws and pop it out. 
if you be really careful enough, there you go. I have to hold it in place. And this is what it looks like from the inside. So if these arms fall out, no need to worry because there's a way to put it back together again. So I actually hope that you like to play a little bit of puzzle games because that's what you're going to be doing. So this is what it looks like when everything is in place. And as you can see the small gear, so if these arms fall out and you don't know where it goes and you put it back together thinking that you actually got it in the right place, there is an idea to help you put all the arms back in the right place. So here he goes. To put these back in the right place, very simple. You're going to get your phone or cell phone and what you're going to do is you're going to put it at the edge like so. If it fits on the edge really well that means it's supposed to be there but if it's not it's in the wrong place. What you should do is to make a map on the on your table and place it there so you know where the arms actually goes. Now repeat the same process on each corner until you actually got the right arms for each corner of your phone. So technically it should look like this that you are sorting it out and you place each arm on the table as you can see in the picture right here. What you should do is you put the teeth like this on top of here then you get the other arm so this is the top left corner and you want to get the right top corner and you s slip it on to here on top of each other and then it's kind of like put it on top if you travel like that and then repeat the same process and now if it gets to the point that you have one left and you cannot put this on top of each other then you don't need to worry because what you can do is you can actually just try to slide it under <laughs> without it falling out I'm trying my best and there you go so it's all in place as you guys can see and put the put the case back on make sure you do it in the right place put the screws back on and that is it that's all you need to do the big question of you guys right now is should you buy this for your motorcycle or your push bike? I will turn around and say yes you should buy this and don't get this. But that depends how much money you want to spend. I'll show you the screen right now. This is, this is how much it actually cost for me to get the universal bike holder. I'm actually glad that I actually upgrade to get this phone holder right here. I mean it's easy to use. I have no problem with it just one. It's just that the arm just decided to uh, be one tall and the other. And it's easy to fix if you have that issue. When you're riding your motorcycle you know for 100% fact that it's not going to come off your bike. When you're riding, when you're hitting the bumps so you know that your phone is in a safe place so you won't get this when you're riding your motorcycle 
I don't think I have anything more about to say about this universal bike holder. I really don't. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and also subscribe. And press the bell icon. I actually noticed now that almost half of my subscribers now have not pressed the bell icon. And they are not notified about all my videos and if you guys can remember back in YouTube where they changed everything and not a lot of my subscribers know I'm still doing videos so if you guys or ladies are out there who are watching my videos I'm still on YouTube just press the bell icon to let you know that I'm still making content and don't forget to check out my other videos as well if you guys want to keep yourself entertained so thank you for watching and i'll speak to you all in next